This particular question is unique. Trying to understand this question is like explaining the internet to grandparents. A mix of confusion, patience, and a hint of disbelief that there is a right answer in the end. You're presented with the sequence of numbers, and you need to determine the missing number. The numbers are 2, 7, 17, 37, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 57, choice B, 67, choice C, 77, and choice D, 87. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. It's a moment when you might get discouraged, but hey, don't get discouraged here. Whether you're a current subscriber, actively tackling challenging questions regularly, or occasional visitor on this channel, trying to learn new skills and get ready for an assessment test, make sure to allocate yourself enough time and think out of the box. Are you ready? Let's move forward so we can compare our answers. And if your solution is better, please make sure to share it in comments so we can all learn. First of all, the modern sequences on the test are not the sequences our grandparents used to solve. In this particular one, you need to consider multiple math operations. Consider that two operations might be involved to get to the next number in the sequence. The first number in the sequence is given, it is 2. But the next number is calculated as the double previous number plus 3. Let's look at the examples. The second number is calculated as 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3, which equals 7. The third number is calculated as 7 multiplied by 2 plus 3, which equals 17. The fourth number is calculated as 17 multiplied by 2 plus 3, which equals 37. And the missing number is calculated as 37 multiplied by 2 plus 3, which equals 77. So the correct answer here is choice C, 77. I have to admit, navigating through this question is like following GPS, which constantly says, recalculating. But hey, I keep telling myself I'm not lost. We have each other. I'm just taking a scenic route to the right answer. You're presented with the 3x3 three three matrix. Each cell in the matrix has numbers. In the first row, the numbers are 11, 17, and 28. In the second row, the numbers are 25, 33, and 46. And in the last, the third row, the numbers are 14, 16, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 17. Choice B, 18. Choice C, 19. And last but not least, choice D, 21. Don't get discouraged here. Hope your GPS is not like mine. Hopefully yours will take you truly to your final destination. Whether you're a current subscriber, actively tackling challenging questions regularly here, or an occasional visitor trying to learn new skills and considering a subscription in the future, I have full faith in your ability to solve this problem. Just make sure to allocate yourself enough time to think out the box and get to the answer. And don't forget to recalibrate your GPS. Are you ready? I am 100% sure that you solved it by now, so I am going to go ahead and continue our trip. Let's navigate the complexities together and exchange solution in the end. If you have a better way to unlock this mystery or have any tips on how to solve these types of problems in the future, please make sure to share them in comments. Typically, when you see a matrix, you need to determine how to do calculations with the numbers. In each case, you need to look at the numbers to see if you can recognize calculations between rows and columns. Sometimes, though, there is a caveat. There is a misleading pattern here in the first row. 11 plus 17 does equal 28, but this pattern does not continue. So the actual pattern here is that the middle row number is calculated as sum of top and bottom row numbers. Let's look at the example. Let's start with the first column. 11 plus 14 equals 25. In the second column, 17 plus 16 equals 33. So to calculate the missing number, the math would be 46 minus 28 equals 18. So the correct answer here is choice B, 18. After I saw this question, it reminded me the old phone keypad. But solving it may not be as easy as pushing buttons on this old phone. You're presented with the square. Large square has smaller squares inside, which have numbers. 
numbers are starting from the upper left corner five four one and seven in the second row the numbers are four seven two and five in the third row the numbers are six nine five and one and in the last row the numbers are eight five three and then comes the missing number which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices choice a three choice b five choice c seven and last but not least choice d nine being an existing subscriber and going through these questions with us regularly or potentially considering to become a future subscriber i have full confidence that you can solve this challenge by giving yourself enough time to think about it are you ready i am going to continue this adventure and share with you my version of the answer and obviously if you have a better way to solve it please make sure to post in comments as you might have learned from the previous videos you watched here on this channel the key to solve these types of questions is to understand the pattern and the pattern here is that the digits in the left column are multiplied and then three is subtracted from the result to calculate the digits in the right columns let's look at the example to better understand the calculations 5 multiplied by 4 minus 3 equals 17 this explains the digits 5 4 1 and 7 in the first row let's look at the second row 4 multiplied by 7 minus 3 equals 25 in the third row the numbers in the left columns are 6 and 9 6 multiplied by 9 minus 3 equals 54 minus 3 and equals 51 and in the last row the numbers are 8 and 5 8 multiplied by 5 minus 3 equals 40 minus 3 and equals 37 so the answer here is choice c 37. i think you're ready to try your skills to solve this problem and this particular one is so easy it's like uh, trying to convince a toddler that nap time is a good idea a little bit challenging for me but i'm pretty sure you will be very successful you're presented with three cool looking shapes each shape has circles and triangles the first shape has numbers on the inside five seven and two and the numbers on the outside two three and four the middle number for the first shape is five the second shape has inside numbers seven eight and nine the outside numbers are five six and seven and the middle number is six the third shape has inside numbers five six and eight the outside numbers are three seven and one and middle number is missing you need to calculate it and select out of four possible choices choice a six choice b seven choice c eight and last but not least choice d nine solve this challenge on your own and let your cognitive superpowers shine when you've cracked the code and have a solution share your triumph in comments for a victorious discussion i'm excited to learn about your solution and offer my feedback thanks for participating and good luck solving this intriguing challenge and now it's time to grab your thinking goggles this question is so intricate sherlock holmes would need a cheat sheet you're presented with two diamonds each diamond has four numbers inside in the first diamond numbers are eight six two and four and in the second diamond numbers are five two two and then comes the missing number which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices choice a one choice b three choice c five and last but not least choice d seven investigate closely and determine if the solution emerges from the careful observation on my end i'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer and obviously if you have a better way to solve it please make sure to post in comments as you might have guessed the key to solve this challenge is to determine the pattern and to determine the pattern you need to consider different possibilities sequence and orders the flow of calculation may not be the same each time take a close look at the diamond that has all the numbers the pattern here is that the left and the right digits in the diamond represent a single number which is calculated as a top number in the power of the bottom number let's look at the example for example the top number in the left diamond is 8 and the bottom number is 2 8 in the power of 2 is 64. now let's look at the missing value 
5 in the power of 2 is 25. So the correct answer here is choice C, 5. Let's dive into an amazing cognitive assessment test question that not only enhances your analytical abilities, but also improves your valuable problem-solving skills you can apply to solve real-life problems. You're presented with three squares, and you need to determine which square comes next. The next square should be selected out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Well, after close examination of all the choices, I think I got my answer. And I'm ready to unravel the problem-solving techniques together with you. I also think I have a tip for you on how to solve these types of challenges and obviously invite you to share your brilliant ideas on how to solve it in comments so we can all learn. Our goal is to get to the solution in four simple steps. Let's start with the step one. In step one, we need to analyze the original sequence of squares to find the pattern. Let's take a close look at what we have. Even though all objects are squares, the two squares are four by four and the third square is 5x5. Five five. We also can see that all shapes have alternating colors. But you can see that the first shape starts with the darker square in the upper left corner, and the second square starts with the lighter square in the upper left corner. Now it's time to go to the step 2. In step 2, we need to visualize the final shape. Based on what we've just learned, our final shape should be 5x5 five five in size, with alternating colors and should have a lighter small square in the upper left corner. There are two choices that match this option, choices B and C. Let's jump to step 3 and eliminate the incorrect options. Let's closely look at options B and C to examine options that are incorrect. As you can see, the option C is incorrect, because the choice D2 is the extra dark object, which creates a cross. And this leads us to step 4, where we need to verify our answer. Once we've determined that what we believe is the final shape, let's double check it by comparing to the provided choices and ensure that it matches the pattern and colors to complete the shape. As you might have guessed, the correct answer here is choice B because it matches all the criteria and continues the sequence. Get ready for a mind-bending question that will make you question your own existence. Well, maybe not to that extreme, but definitely a cognitive workout. You are presented with the very simple expression 5 minus 2 multiplied by 4 plus 7 equals question mark. And question mark is the value that you need to calculate. Once calculated, select your answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 3. Choice B, 4. Choice C, 5. And last but not least, choice D, 6. I am going to give you a hint. Make sure to verify your answer before you move forward. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this brain teaser together. And remember, if you end up calculating a better way to solve it, please share your answer in comments. The key to solve this challenge is to determine the order of operations. You might have heard the term PEMDAS, which stands for parents' brackets, exponents, orders, multiplications, divisions, addition, and subtraction, which is also known as BAMDAS, and represents correct way to perform calculations. Let's apply this order to this expression. We first need to do multiplication. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. So the updated expression will be 5 minus 8 plus 7. The next operation is from left to right we need to do subtraction. 5 minus 8 equals minus 3. Next step, minus 3 plus 7 equals 4. So the tip here is always remember to follow the order of operation to get the accurate result in mathematical calculations. The correct answer here is choice B, 4. Prepare to tackle this intriguing assessment test question, designed not just to test your mental math abilities, but also to foster your analytical skills, which you can use in the day-to-day -day life. You need to determine the missing number, which is located on the top of the pyramid. The other numbers in the pyramid are 8 and 28 in the second row, 4, 4, and 7 in the third row, and 3, 1, 4, and 3 in the fourth row. You need to calculate the missing number and select it out of four possible choices. 
Choice A, twenty-six. Choice B, thirty. Choice C, thirty-two. And last but not least, choice D, thirty-six. Let me give you a hint. Consider that I might be trying to mislead you by the way I present the information. Maybe there is another alternative look, and how you can look at this data. Are you ready? I think I found my answer, and I am thrilled to compare it with your solution. Let's continue so we can examine our strategies step by step. And if your brilliant approach is better or more efficient, don't hesitate to let us know in comments. Remember how I presented the information to you? I started from the top and went to the bottom, but in fact, you need to start from the low-level numbers and apply math operations to the low-line numbers to calculate the higher-level numbers. To confuse you even more, there are two math operations are alternating in the calculations: addition and multiplication. Let's look at the example so you get better understanding. Let's look at the numbers in the bottom left corner: three plus one equals four. But one multiplied by four equals four. Remember, I told you that addition and multiplication are alternating. So the next one would be addition again. Four plus three equals seven. Let's go to the row two. Four plus four equals eight. But four multiplied by seven equals twenty-eight. So to calculate the top number, we need to add eight and twenty-eight to get to the final result of this thirty-six. So the correct answer here is choice D, thirty-six. Get ready for a mental rodeo, amigos. I've uncovered a question that's more confusing than figuring out why we park on the driveways and drive on the parkways. You're presented with four by two matrix. Matrix has seven numbers, and you need to calculate the eighth number. The numbers in the first row of the matrix are three, six, one, and two, and then numbers in the second row are. Four, eight, one, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices: choice A, two; choice B, four; choice C, six; and last but not least, choice D, eight. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Take a solo ride through the cerebral challenge, and when you wrangle the solution, rustle up your thoughts and comments. Get ready for some cognitive fun, and when you're done, make sure to post your answer in comments so I can give you my feedback. Good luck solving this challenge. Prepare to tackle this intriguing assessment test question, designed not just to test your mental math abilities, but also to foster your analytical skills, which you can use in the day-to-day -day life. You need to determine the missing number, which is located on the top of the pyramid. The other numbers in the pyramid are eight and twenty-eight in the second row, four, four, and seven in the third row, and three, one, four, and three in the fourth row. You need to calculate the missing number and select it out of four possible choices: choice A, twenty-six; choice B, thirty; choice C, thirty-two; and last but not least, choice D, thirty-six. Let me give you a hint. Consider that I might be trying to mislead you by the way I present the information. Maybe there is another alternative look, and how you can look at this data. Are you ready? I think I found my answer, and I am thrilled to compare it with your solution. Let's continue so we can examine our strategies step by step. And if your brilliant approach is better or more efficient, don't hesitate to let us know in comments. Remember how I presented the information to you? I started from the top. And went to the bottom, but in fact, you need to start from the low-level numbers and apply math operations to the low-line numbers to calculate the higher-level numbers. To confuse you even more, there are two math operations are alternating in the calculations: addition and multiplication. Let's look at the example so you get better understanding. Let's look at the numbers in the bottom left corner: three plus one equals four. But one multiplied by four equals four. Remember, I told you that addition and multiplication are alternating. So the next one would be addition again. Four plus three equals seven. Let's go to the row two. Four plus four equals eight. But four multiplied by seven equals twenty-eight. So to calculate the top number, we need to add eight and twenty-eight to get to the final result of this thirty-six. So the correct answer here is choice D, thirty-six. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us 
to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.